How am I supposed to build a palace when I'm on the run like the pirates? Crap. You just need the right... That's a cave. I've been found! I've been waiting for so long. Thank you. What are you doing in here? I was looking for treasure. It's just what pirates do. This stupid place caved in on me. How could something like that happen? All I heard were these horrible screams from the mangroves. Then the ground shook and everything just collapsed around me. No idea what that was. I have a pretty good idea. A skull cave belonging to the shadows. I'm so glad that someone finally came. So you're Polly's daddy. That bird really brought you here? You could say that. Well, it was worth it then. He was trapped with me in the cave. I taught him to speak before I was able to squeeze him out of one of the holes in the cliff wall. Do you have any idea what it's like being trapped with a parrot for weeks? I can imagine. I taught him the words Takarigua and cave and repeated them till they sank in. Well, I'll be. That bird actually remembered all that. I'd almost given up hope. Do you want Polly back? No, no, no. Keep him. I really can't stand any more of his squawking. In any case, thank you again, my friend. Here, take everything I've found on my travels so far. I'm absolutely done with treasure hunting. I'm going to go get some fresh air now. Sure. Go do that. Farewell, my friend. And thanks again. Hey, Polly. I found Thorben. Polly's daddy. Ah! Polly's daddy free? Yeah, that's right. He's out of that cave and is enjoying his freedom. Ah! Polly's daddy free? Captain Hero! Ah! Yeah, I think we did good there, my little friend. Polly nice! Polly Hero! 
Captain Daddy! Polly Pirate! Ah. Oh, I don't know. Polly Pirate! Captain Daddy! Ah. Fine. You can stay here. But don't get into any trouble, alright? Dumbo! Glutton! Ah. Oh, behave yourself. Watch your back, lad. Still, Antigua brings back old memories. It's bloody shit out there. Ah, there you are. I've got good news. You remember the old pirate captain, Romanov? Yeah, I heard he died. It's said that he left a treasure chest behind on the island. Everyone knows where it is, but because of Romanov's curse, they're all too scared to touch it. I don't think a curse could faze me right now. You'll still need to be careful. The chest's in a very dangerous area. Here, I'll mark its location on your map. There. That should make it easy to find. Don't you sometimes yearn for the old days? Do you mean when our father was always drunk? Or do you mean the years when we had to muddle through all alone because he was never there? I think we could do with fewer problems in our lives. So I reckon we're better off today. Captain Rawlings' treasure was dug up on the Crab Coast. And was it worth the trouble? Indeed it was. So it was worth the effort. Well, it seems like old Romanov's curse has spared me. I plundered his chest, but after that, nothing particularly exciting happened. Then let's just be happy about the gold he left for us. Good work. Then I say we're done on Antigua. Anything to say about the current situation? You can't leave these idiots alone for five minutes. What have the fuckers done? I'd love to clean up this shithole. Seen anything unusual around here? This place was created by many free men who refused to bow down. Pirates take what they need and fight for themselves. That's good. No one should have to live in slavery. What does the gnome say to this place? Already seen. Pirates here. They collect gold and bring it here. 
Exactly like new. Always hard working. Here, look. I found this where they were. Anything to say about the current situation? I just don't understand why the Inquisition didn't leave this place ages ago. But I guess they're just as clueless as everyone else. They always act like they're the fucking saviors. You think we can use your talent on this island? Ugh, I see myself standing at some Inquisition soldier's stove yet again. Nah, I'm done with Takarigua. What does the gnome say to this place? I know this place. Inquisition everywhere. Strange people, they soldiers. They have many stupid fucking rules. Can't even sleep when they're tired. May only eat when they get orders. Soldiers fucking stupid. Never pay enough attention to looking after gold. Lucky. Seen anything unusual around here? Many soldiers here. Bad people. They keep us free people here as slaves to do their dirty work. They do not think. They follow the wrong masters. A shadow below the water. A really big one. A sea monster lies in wait off the coast. We know what to do. It seems to be faster and more dangerous if you ask me. So make sure you are prepared for the worst when you set sail. You think we can use your talent on this island? With who? The gnomes? Uh, no. Let's just forget it. Captain Big Hero! Ah! Watch your back, lad. Come on, let's go. Of course! the word. Oh, Ulvi Kaga will now speak more clearly. Then Homi understand what Ulvi want. Lot of trouble on this island. Gnu in danger. Goblins evil. Ulvi want to fight, but can't say no. Strangers not allowed to move outside stockade. Who is Khan? Khan Mata, all of Gnu. Very wise. Yip yip. Jafar no Khan. Important Gnu. It's important that Homi talk to him. Follow stockade until reach Gnu village. You find him there. 
He usually in center of village. You got a problem with goblins? Yep, yep. Goblins spoil beautiful island. Many trees no longer where they should be. They steal special dinghy from Gnu. Now ghosts confused by old Gnu shaman and fight alongside goblins. Nothing must happen to them, otherwise our people die. So the goblins are stealing from you? Yep, yep. Who we not know much about it? One special dinghy is big pipe with lens. If find pipe, take to Khan. Why doesn't Khan want you to fight? Khan say all Gnu die when Ulvi attack goblins. Ulvi not wish to die, homie. I only watch stockade, no basha, he said. Right. Then it might be better to proceed with caution. Yep, yep. Smart, homie. It would be best to visit Khan. As great danger is near, goblins have set up many camps, even in the north. Nobody may get close, not even friends, homie. We're to take care of the northern goblin camp. But Khan has forbidden. You forget. We Gnu die if you attack goblins. Bring me to Khan then. This way, homie! Two Spada! Jack a gozo to whoop! Gaza! I'm gonna fucking get you! Now, faster! We're almost there, homie! Let's move on then. Yep, yep! Always better, no slower! Follow me! Old Kampa bring back memories. Jafar learned to borrow here. Some advice when near Gnu. Take care of bags. Keep pockets closed. Every Gnu has teeth phase when he borrow as many things as he can. We here! Looky, looky! Thanks for the help, short ass. You're welcome. Ulvi always help. Goblins and gozos. Ah! A homie, a real homie. What's the matter? Nanook excited. I have never traded dinghy with real homies. Are you a merchant? Yip, yip. Nanook only the best dinghies in his store. I sell to you for shiny dinghies. Trado, trado. Let's make trado. Yip, yip. A human, on my island. A good omen. Maybe my people can be saved. Omen? What kind of omen? The great bird spoke to me. He told me that a homie will come when our need is greatest. So, you're in deep shit. Shit? A peculiar word, but appropriate. Soon, we gnomes will cease to exist. The goblins want to destroy our island. What's your problem? My problem? You don't understand. It's a problem for all of us. The goblins descended on this island and stole our Orikulkis. Orikulki? Never heard of it. Let me explain. Every gnome who completes his great journey possesses an Orikulki. 
Only when we have an Orikulki can we consecrate our graves. And the great bird only takes upon its wings gnomes who possess an Orikulki. In short, if a gnome dies before finding his Orikulki, his spirit will never rest. What's stopping you from getting them back? There are not many of us here, and we are not warriors. But even if we could fight, we would still have a problem. If we use violence to reclaim our Orikulkis, the great bird will punish us. Due to the theft of the Orikulkis, the souls of our shamans have turned dark. Their spirits now fight alongside our enemies. We cannot attack them. Can you teach me something? Yip, yip. Show me how to regenerate my wounds. Yip, yip, homie. I'll fetch you the Oracle keys. No, I can't let you do that. You would use force to get them. Only someone who can steal them from the goblins undetected is worthy of this task. I'm the right guy for the Orikulki matter. Well, you're even more stubborn than the gnomes. But remember, if you kill one of our spirits before you show me his Orikulki, my people will suffer great pain. However, I will entrust only you with this task. Your friends must stay away from the camps. You should speak to Khalil. He can help you with this, if you want. I'll take you to him. What about the big bird? It's the guardian of our people. When we are no longer, it leads us to the other side. But if we make it angry, it will shed its feathers. Without it, the way to the next world is barred. Bring me to Khalil. Very well. Follow me. Ooh. Here we are. Now, speak with Khalil. I will return to our village. I wish you success, homie. Because of the Orikolkis. Where should I look for them? There are four goblin camps outside the stockade, homie. They're to the north, east, west and south. You will find an Orikolki there. Every Orikulki is guarded by an errant spirit of my people. Under no circumstances should you raise the sword against them. I sent four gnomes to return the Orikulkis. Ulvi, Namik, Meli, and Famir. When you meet them, they'll be able to tell you more about the goblin camps. Why can't I simply kill the shaman spirits? Their Orikulkis are bonded with our people. But be careful and try to stay unnoticed. The eyes of the great bird are focused on you. Hack too, homie. This gnu has met many of your kind during his travelings. Hope you do not want to sell this gnu. Why would I want to sell you? Other homies have tried while I was on big journey. Now, they are not feeling so well. Now, this Gnu is back from Great Journey and guards the caver of his fellow Gnu. He is much experienced in battle. Still very dangerous here. Do you need help? Khan instructed Khalil to retrieve the Orikulki from the Western Goblin camp. It was Namik's responsibility but Namik, he never come back. That is big crapper, because this Gnu here cannot go away. Khalil must guard entrance. Tell me more about the Orikulkis. Orikulki are important, Dingy. 
Every GNU collects one Orikulki in his lifetime. If you want to know more, speak to Khan. The Blins in the Western Goblin Camp have stolen the Skullmaker of Wessi, our shaman. We need Wessi's Orikulki back at all costs. I'll get the Orikulki for you. What? Why would Hummy do that? You tell me. Be careful, Hummy. Bring the Orikonki to Khan, and Khalil will give you a reward. Great. Has Hummy spoken to Khan yet? Does he know about the problem? Yeah, I'm aware of the problem. I'll make sure that I retrieve the Orikonki from the camp without being seen. Famo, Hummy. Good luck. How do I get into the western camp without being seen? Go straight through gate, in westerly direction, towards the camp. Turn left before you reach camp. I think Namik intended to abseil down from above with a liana. Homie can also try to jump. Maybe somewhere on the way you'll be meeting Namik. He jotted down exactly his plan. Maybe he help you. How do I get into the Northern Goblin camp without being seen? All we think best idea, swim around cliff near camp. Then sneak into camp from back. And what about the Northern Goblin camp? Homie should first get special dinghy from camp with no being seen. Bring to Khan. Then we kill goblins. We need a Good bit more tact I here. Wait. I think it would be best if I go alone in this part of the island. My house probably ruins. Jafar furious! Good, good! I can't wait! Hold on! I gotta fucking get you! Well done! <laughs> Ugh! <sighs> 
He's carrying a letter. I should take a closer look. There may be something useful in there.
Yeah. Multo blemo. Tiff taki dingi. Nixato. Take a deep breath and explain it to me again, more slowly. Ah! Slowly. Explain what's wrong. Slowly. Ah, oh, understand. Malik lost hammer. But Malik must strengthen big stockade. If Malik hammer nothing, goblins attack. Where did you last see the hammer? Um, uh, maybe... No. Did I? Yeah? Yeah! Malik saw it when he hammered something. And where were you hammering? Stockade? Where else? You're not exactly a great help. How are things looking with the stockade? Not much done. Need help. But most canoe busy. And Peavy needs big help. Peavy? You mean your apprentice? Yep, yep. When Malik woke, Pivi not at stockade. He must learn much because he have Nick's skill. Poor Dowie. Hope he back soon. Have you any idea where your Pivi could be? Dowie always in canoe village. But sometime he go north on Granny Cliffo. Above on Maro Bordo. Maro Bordo. Homies call it beach. Go north and find a rocky plateau above the beach. I understand. I'll take care of your apprentice problem. Tantan, homie. You great help for canoe. When Dowie is back in village, homie receive big reward. Can I learn something from you? Yep, yep. Is this the hammer you were looking for? Hey, it is! Famo! But where did Homie find it? It was on some crate near the stockade. Not far from Malik's work. Ah, Malik gone blind. I think so too. But because Homie's so nice, he get big donor. Please, oh, Homie! Five gold and a chicken leg. Great. Yep, yep. <laughs>